Hello, welcome to lesson 10, exercise one. Here we're going to write a program that uses a while loop to calculate the sum of all numbers from one to 100, and then we'll output the results to the screen. So the first thing to notice is that we're going to use a while loop in this particular code, but really there are many, many ways of doing this. And in fact, you could use a for loop or other types of loops, but here we're specifically told to use a while loop and that's just to give you some practice. So uh, this is the entire program here. Uh, the end of it's down here at the bottom. And so what we have is we're going to declare an integer and that's going to be our current number. So we're going from one to 100. And what we want to do is increment the variable from one to 100. And all the while we're going to be keeping a running total of the sum of all of those numbers. And so we have to have something to keep track of the current number. And so we'll set that equal to number one since we're going from one to 100. And we also need another variable called the sum. We're going to set that equal to zero because initially we don't have a sum and we're going to be keeping a running total as we go. So here is our while loop. Uh, everything between these two curly braces executes each time the while loop runs through. So you can see while the number is less than or equal to 100, then we will execute this loop all while that is currently true. So right now the current, the current number is one. And so of course we'll come into the loop here. And the first thing we'll do is we'll increment our existing sum. So we already have a variable called sum. We've set it equal to zero. So we just say, say that that variable sum is equal to the current value plus the current number. And then very immediately after that, we'll increment the number. So as we go through the loop, what happens is we use this variable to continue piling on uh, a running total of, of whatever it was in the past plus the current number as we run through the loop from 1 to 100. Uh, of course, we're adding the current number each time, and then we increment that. And so the loop is going to execute 100 times. And when it's done, then what is held in the variable sum should be the running total of everything because we've been adding, um, adding the number to the previous sum each time. So then we run through that. When the loop is done executing, then we output the result. The sum of all numbers from 1 to 100 is, and then we just put the variable there. There's not much more to it than that, so we'll just run it and we'll get an answer. The sum of all numbers between 1 and 100 is 5,050, 50, 50 in other words. And if you go get the calculator uh, or run that through Google, you will find that that is the correct answer. Um, it's kind of a trivial example. It's not a practical thing you'll be doing, you know, coding a game or something. But it is showing you how to use a while loop and giving you practice with that. The most important thing to remember about a while loop is that Basically, the loop is going to continue to run while the um, condition up here is, is still true. And so if you're incrementing something a fixed number of times, you need to take care of that incrementing within the body of the loop. When it comes back around, it'll check to see if this condition is still true. And if it is, it'll keep looping and looping and looping uh, each time uh, we go through the while loop.